Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I'm going to help you out with problem of the day seven today. All right, so it says Fergie has 281 nonfiction books and 192 fiction books. If she has read 138 of her books, how many more books does she have left to read? All right, um, I'm going to start off and I just, I'm going to make these numbers smaller. I think these things can be a lot easier to understand if we think with small numbers first. You can see how to do it, and then you can do it. And why can't I draw? There we go. All right, let's say she has five nonfiction books, and we'll say she has four fiction books, and we'll say she's read three of her books. How many more books does she have left to read? So she has, let's see, five nonfiction. One, two, three, four, five. And then she has four fiction. One, two, three, four. So now we know that she has nine total books. Okay? And then she's read three of them. We're going to take three away to figure out how many she has left. So one two, three, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six books left. So what really what we did there, we took the five and we added the four fiction, we got nine, then we subtracted the three she already read and gave us six books left to read. Okay, now let's make the numbers a little bigger and try it again. Right. Let's see. Okay, say she had 172 nonfiction and we'll give her 238 fiction and we'll say we'll keep 138 the same. So she has this many nonfiction, she has this many fiction. She's read this many. We got to figure out how many she has left. So just like we did when I drew them out, you're going to add these two together. So you have 172 plus 238. I'm going to always start adding in my ones column. Two and eight is 10, so I need to regroup. Okay, seven and one is eight. Three more is 11. My tens come here, my ones here. One and one is two, two more is four. So she would have 410 books, and then she's read this many. So if we subtract that, that'll tell us how many she has left to read. Okay, zero take away eight, I cannot do, right? If I have zero something, I cannot take eight away, so I need to regroup. I have a zero in my tens now, and I have a 10 in my ones now. Moved it over. 10 take away 8 is 2. Okay, 0 take away 3 again, you can't do, so you have to regroup. 10 take away 3 is 7. 3 take away 1 is 2. So she would have 272 books left to read. All right, go give it a shot with the correct numbers, and good luck to you.